we are going to be making some Parmesan meatballs today for our slow cooker recipe. So I do only have one crock pot recipe planned for this week. So I'm going to try something new and I'm going to do slow cook and speed clean with me. So after you all will see the recipe, I will share me cleaning um, the kitchen and cleaning out the fridge and cleaning out the pantry. So I hope you guys enjoy this new style. Um, normally I like to just keep all my crock pot meals together throughout the week. But since I only have one crock pot recipe to share with you guys this week, I thought I would try something different and add me cleaning on to this video also. So hope you guys enjoy. So like I said, we're going to be making some Parmesan meatballs. We are doing some Parmesan sub Parmesan meatball subs this week. Um, you can do these meatballs just as plain meatballs, or you can do them as subs like we are. So to start off for the meatball portion, um, you're going to need some eggs. I am tripling this recipe. There will be a recipe linked down below for you guys, and it's just a single per pound recipe. So I will be adding a bunch more ingredients, but I'll still be sharing how to put it together. So you will need some eggs. We are using three pounds of hamburger meat, some Parmesan cheese. Um, I really like to use the, uh, the shredded Parmesan for this, but this is all I have, and this will work just fine. You need some garlic some onion powder, some salt, some basil, some oregano, and then some breadcrumbs. So we're just gonna mix all of this together in this bowl, form it into meatballs, and then the meatballs will go directly into my slow cooker. So let's get that step all done. I got them all rolled and put in here. Um, now I've done this several different ways. I've seared these off before. I've baked them in the oven first and then put them in here and then poured the sauce on. But this time, since I've got some cleaning I need to do, I thought I would just pop them in here and let them cook like this for a few hours. And then I'll drain the grease, whatever grease, grease is in there, I'll drain it off. And then we will add in our jar of marinara sauce um, at the towards the end. So that way I'm not having to scoop out all kinds of grease and waste a lot of the marinara. So like I said, I've tried this different ways. You can cook them before. If you wanna skip this step and just get them done quicker, bake them in the oven and then pour on your sauce um, and then it won't take near as long. But since I have a while, I'm just gonna let them cook for a few hours like this and then we'll drain the grease and then put the marinara in there and then let them finish cooking the rest of the day with the marinara. And then we've got our hoagie buns and I'll probably do some homemade french fries. So I'm just cooking this on low for about three hours and then we will come back.
all clean, y'all. Now let's get to the pantry next. So the pantry's not too, too bad. I haven't, it's not been too long since I've done it, but there's just, I just kind of threw everything in here after going to the grocery. So I'm just going to kind of reorganize it and put everything back in its spot that I normally keep it in. wasn't too too bad just needed to kind of reorganize some stuff but I feel so much better having this clean having the fridge clean and then all the dishes are done for the day well till tonight till we eat dinner and I'll see y'all back in a few hours when the meatballs are ready to drain okie dokie y'all they've been cooking about three and a half three three hours three and a half hours so I'm gonna take and Drain the grease and just have the meatballs. And then we'll take and put our marinara sauce on them. And then we'll let them finish cooking in marinara. We drained all the grease off. And then now Winston's gonna add in our jar of marinara sauce. Dump it in there. Careful, it's hot. Yep. Whole thing? Yep, whole thing. He just got home from school and he said, I want to help cook. Okie dokie. So now we're going to toss them just a little bit so we don't break them. And then we're just going to let them finish cooking in the marinara sauce. That's it, y'all. Um, I just wanted to mention that I'm still keeping them on low, just cooking them for about two and a half more hours. It's four o'clock now. We normally eat about 6.30. So we'll just keep them in there on low till it's time to serve them up. Okie dokie, y'all. Here are our meatballs. Ready to serve up. I got provolone cheese, which I just haven't got out of the fridge yet. Got the hoagie buns, and then I'm gonna take and roast up some cauliflower instead of french fries. Um, I've just got this frozen bag of cauliflower here, and I'm just gonna toss in some olive oil, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and some Parmesan cheese. Toss it all together, and then I have my air fryer heating up, so we'll just toss it in there. Is my plate hope you enjoyed this slow cook and speed clean with me definitely give me a thumbs up if you liked it and comment down below and i will see y'all in the next one bye guys